Hello my YouTube friends, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit Structure where I'm going to teach you on how you can model the power foundations that you have here. In addition to modeling of the power foundations, I'm going to teach you on how you can model the reinforcement on the power foundation using a method in Revit which is called free from Riba. Alright. So as you can see, everything that you are seeing here is what you are going to learn without skipping anything and I'll take you step by step. So if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel and also turn on the bell notification and most importantly, don't forget to share with your friends. All right. Again, I want to inform all of you that if there's anyone who'd like to join me in a detailed course, on a complete project step by step in Revit structure. Make sure that you check the link in the description and also the first comment. So without wasting time, let's continue in this lesson. So as you can see, this is our model we will be working on. And if there's anyone who doesn't know on how to model what we are seeing here, there is a tutorial on my channel. Just make sure that you check the card above there where you can learn for free on how to model this structure. Alright, so what I'm going to do is to just erase or delete everything from here. So I'll just select everything like that. Then I'll go to filter and check none. I just want to remove the structural riba and also I'm going to remove the structural foundations. Alright, click on apply, click on OK and now simply click on delete from there. Right now I'm going to open this view. You can see that we do not have anything here and we'll get started with the modeling of the, the power foundations. It's simple. All you need to do is to just go to structure there, then come under foundations here and click on isolated foundation. After that, by default, you see that I have the power foundation because I loaded it. But if you don't see any foundation here, you will notice here that you have the load family here. So make sure that you click on load and let me just drag it here. You'll be taken to this, to these folders where we can load your foundations. But if it's not here by default, you just need to click the arrow there and go to the libraries. All right. And now you can go to English. Now you should have already downloaded and installed these libraries. And I'll use the UK library then you just need to go down here and find your structural foundations from there okay as you can see these are the foundations that we have of which the power foundations we have a number of them all right so you can see if you just over your case are there let me just click outside you see we have a preview and if i just click there i can even see the kind of power foundation that i want to load here as you can see from here. So pick the one that you want to use. For example, let me just again pick the uh, this one here. You just need to click on open there. You are going to load it as you can see that is the one we have. Now I just want to use the same power foundation that I loaded initially, which is the power cap two round. I'll just click on it. And now you can have it wherever I want it to be. For example, I want my power foundation to be here. I can click on it. I can go to the next one. Space bar on your keyboard if you want to, you know, to rotate it like that. Just use space bar on your keyboard. Maybe I can have it here. Right. And maybe the other one, I want to have it right here. All right. I'll click on modify to escape. So I'll go back to my 3D view. Let me just work on this one here. Then I can copy the foundation on the rest of the locations. Okay, so now that we have the power foundation, if you want to check the properties, you can select on it. Go to edit type and you see that you have the foundation thickness. You can change it. The power length, if I want maybe 5 meters, 5,000, I can just click there. Right, let me cancel first so that you see how the changes are applying. Just click on edit there. Uh, the power length, maybe I want 4 meters, 4,000. Click on apply. You can see that it adjusts like that. You can change all these options here to make sure that it matches your design. All right. So I'll cancel from there. And now let's begin, you know, the placement of the reinforcement on our foundation. So 
I'll just select the power foundation and you see that this is one family so it will highlight like this then once you select on it just click on ribbon then just click on ok you notice that you have freeform ribbon and these other options so make sure that you select freeform ribbon then aligned click on it from the case I see that it says select whole surface I'll start with this one I'll select this face and also select that face then you need to click on path click on it then you say that it says select path I'm going to pick the vertical path from there once you do that make sure that from the properties you pick the ribbon that you want we want to start with the links or the stirrups I'll pick h8 from here then workshop instructions I want to pick bend and now the style I want to pick stirrup or the tie okay then under bar alignment I want to maintain it the way it is align to path so I'll leave it the way it is so I'm done here then I'll come here under the ribbon sets I'll click on it and make sure that I have maximum spacing and you can now specify the spacing in my case I just want to use 200 as my spacing right once you do that you just need to click on the green check mark right there and you can see that you have those looking good as you can see let me quickly do the same on this one I'll quickly do it select the two faces make sure that the settings are okay as you can see everything is good even there so I'll just click on path and pick that path there and click on finish we have our stirrups there all right now I'm also going to add the longitudinal bars here we are right here I'll select on the you know the surface I'll select this one and that one I'll click on the path this time you need to go at the bottom and pick the path just like that okay so now you need to come here under the properties and now change the bar that you want to use maybe edge 16 and also come here and change it to fixed number how many bars do I want to use for a round column I want to use six okay once you do that you just need to click on the green check mark there you see that we have those bars I'll do the same on this one but quickly I'll select the surface the, co the commands are still the same still selected you can watch from the Kesa select this one then go to path go at the bottom right there pick that one and that one make sure that you counter check the bars that you want to use and the layout of the reinforcement this is fixed number and I want to use six and then click on finish perfect right now I'll do a bit of modifications later on let me first of all now place the reinforcement let me escape once I can select on this one hold the shift and the wheel on my mouse so that I can orbit on this one zoom in here just like that so now I also want to place reinforcement here so I'll select on that you know the power cup there then I'll pick on ribber make sure that you're on freeform ribber we are also on aligned I'll start with the top face so I'll pick the top face here as the host I'll select on it right then I'll pick on path for the path I want to have you know the bars in that direction or maybe the bars within the shortest you know span there I'll pick this path okay so make sure that you just watch what I'm doing then the ribbon we have then instead of fixed number I want to have maximum spacing and I want to have 200 there move inside that is all just click on finish you can see we have the bars there then you can see we are still in the command I'll pick the face all right once you pick the face pick the path this time we want the bus to go in the longest direction so you need to pick this one as a path just like that counter check the settings here and there you are good you can finish we are done you also need to do the same at the bottom just the same steps as you can see it's quite easy so I'll pick the surface at the bottom just move the case there select then pick the path I'll start with this one all right I'll start with 
that one then click on finish the settings are still okay from there as you can see click on finish all right then again pick the face then this time i'll pick uh which one am i going to pick i'll pick this one now because i want my bars to be in the longest direction so i'll pick this one all right so i have to do solve for that so let me just escape once so let me select on this one once again click on rebar then make sure that aligned by face pick the face at the bottom once you pick the face at the bottom you need to pick the path and now pick this path just like that just counter check the settings here and there and now click on finish perfect i'll escape so as you can see this is what we have all right now i just need to make modifications here for example you notice here that there's a collision on the bus here so i want to move you know the longest bus on top down so just select on the bus there and click on edit constraints then you just need to click there that dot at the box and i want to drop this one by maybe negative 16 then click outside and click on finish i'll do the same at the bottom hold shift and on my, on my mouse zoom in using the wheel select the longest bar click on edit constraints select there and maybe negative 16 also click like that you see it moves then click on the green check mark which is finish right now before i add the hooks i just want also to you notice here that if i go to the left here you can see that it has respected the covers perfectly this is good all i need to do is to add just the hooks there and also to extend these bars inside okay okay perfect so i'll select there hold shift and the on my mouse then i'll zoom in here then i'll select those bars then what i'm going to do is to just extend these bars up there maybe by 200 millimeters i'll click on edit constraints then pick that dot there then select there and maybe let's use negative 200 pick outside or actually positive 200 so select there once again and just type 200 and click click on finish do the same on the other side select on it edit constraints select that dot there click there and type 200 click and click on finish perfect right now let me just add some hooks there so i'll select this one actually i can select both hold control and select this one and i just want to add the hooks maybe at the end this should be the end select there and i want to use 90 degree but now the hook rotation i want to use negative 180 so that the hooks can we can have a funnel shape like at the end all right perfect so we are done here now i can add the hooks on this one and that one i think i can even hold control select this one and that one let me add the hooks at start last 90 degrees okay don't know why need to click there click on 90 hook at start and hook at end click there and 90 degrees let me move inside as you can see perfect everything looks good except that maybe i can try to shorten these hooks but you can do that let me just make this one bigger let me click on edit foundation thickness let me say maybe 600 i just want to avoid that collision but you can as well you know just change click on okay just change maybe the hook length there i think i'm good as you can see this looks perfect okay so this is how you can work with your power foundations all right just in this way now i can go back let me just select on it pick there we have this one now i can even copy this just by clicking on copy just click that point and now i can place these powers where they're supposed to be just the center there 
and you can finish the rest of the powers let me just add a few of them i'm not going to add everything this is just copying which you can do so i'll click there and click on modify to escape go back to my 3d view and here we are those are the powers and you can add as many as possible so thanks for watching please don't forget to you know to subscribe to this channel like my videos and share with your friends and of course check the course there you might be interested in joining me see you in some upcoming tutorials